Hi everyone, thanks so much for being here. My name is Kat and I make houseplant videos here on Good and Planty. If you just happen to absolutely love this video, please consider liking it, commenting, subscribing, or following me on Instagram. All these things help me grow my channel like a plant. Today, we are looking at some of my most exciting houseplant updates in terms of new growth. These are very exciting to me because with all of the changes that I've thrown at my plants these past few months, even though it's growing season for me here in Philly, wasn't sure how they were gonna do, but I do have some gorgeous new leaves and growth points that I really wanted to share with you just to spread some planty happiness, you know. But first, real quick, I wanna say a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is a huge supporter of this channel, so I talk a lot about them, but if you don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in a broad range of topics that are completely ad-free. I love thinking of Skillshare as a very easy, usually like an hour long way for me to just kind of invest in myself, prioritize self care, learn something new. <laughs> Premium classes are launched each week and it's in a huge range of topics ranging from houseplant care, for example, to running a business. And I've utilized tips from all sorts of topics into my life, into Good and Planty, all of that. I recently just completed a course called Real Productivity, Create Your Ideal Week, hosted by Michael Carjanapricorn, one of the co-founders of Skillshare. In literally less than 30 minutes, I got a ton of tips on productivity. I've been having a really hard time lately with productivity, so I went right for a productivity course. <laughs> Anyways, if you wanna try out Skillshare for yourself, the first thousand people to click the link in my description box down below will receive a one month free trial to Skillshare. So thank you again to Skillshare, and now let's get on with the video. The first plant I want to talk about, ooh, they all look good. I'll, I'll start things off easy. I don't talk too much about her anymore, but she has transformed and that is my Maranta. And basically I, I gave her root rot. It was totally my bad. She's in a ceramic pot and I didn't have her in great light. The water just sat in the pot for way too long and she ended up getting root rot. I saved this tiny piece actually no this one i saved this tiny piece and she could stay in the pot but i ended up needing to propagate this chunk right here i just recently potted them back up together which was really really exciting for me i was very nervous about losing this maranta now she's actually just putting out new growth she is completely happy transitioned and i have one over here too so this was a huge redemption story. I honestly kind of thought I might call it quits at one point, but I stuck with it. And I really, I really like her in this pot a lot. And I have found that just like a very light water once in a while to maintain that moisture at a consistent level has really helped transform this plant. For her, it's not as easy as some of my other like philodendron and stuff like that where I kind of give it a drench once every week. Her, I have been paying a much closer eye to and I think it's really paying off with this new growth. So that's plant number one. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> plant number two, we have, oh, she's wet. We have my Raphidophora de Cursiva. This is a newer plant to my collection. I haven't talked all that much about her. She's just sort of featured around in my plant care videos, my plant tour. I did get her in one of my vlogs that I posted semi-recently. I got her at a farmer's market. I just could not pass up these stunning, gorgeous, fenestrated, massive leaves. <laughs> like this is the size of my palm and I am 5'8", so I have decent sized palms. <laughs> I just absolutely love her. She put out this leaf in my care right here, and then she did lose her fenestrations on the most recent leaf, probably due to acclimation. Now I have this fun little growth point towards the bottom right here, and that should be a fun little leaf for me. I am hoping that this following leaf will be fenestrated. If not, I probably will have to bump up the light. A lot of my plants are plopped around my house in not prime settings just because of the, the move that I recently did. I don't have all my shelving and everything 
So to have that plant thriving in decent conditions, but not the best conditions is very, very exciting. And I think that she looks great. Huge fan of this plant. I got rid of my Raphidophora tetrasperma a little while ago for the move in my purge. So pfft, I just ate her. So to have another Raphidophora back in my collection feels great. And I feel really lucky to have found such a gorgeous one. And I got her for a good deal. I want to say like 10, 15 bucks and they used to be very expensive. <laughs> All right, next up, let's talk about Monstera. So this little baby right here is some form of variegated Monstera. That's what I was told when I was given this plant. Don't know what kind of variegation, what color. I'm kind of just patiently waiting. I'm going to grow her out, see what she gives me. I recently just got this new leaf right here. And I don't think there is variegation on it, but we'll just be patient and see. And I also kind of wanted to use her as a segue to talk about my larger Monstera that's in my living room. She was a bit stagnant for a while, which was fine. She's already pretty large, so she could take a... A, t a chill pill for a second. She recently just put out a new leaf that is slowly hardening off. And then the other day I noticed that she has a whole new shoot coming out and the area which I propagated her, she's actually uh, putting out a new growth point there too, which I love seeing her thrive. I'm so happy that she's happy enough to kind of bounce back. She's getting decent light. I think that's helping. And I also just did a round of fertilizer a few videos ago and I noticed Noticed that my plants really responded well to that. I think they were kind of waiting for that fertilizer. I'm very happy that I did that for them because I've noticed a lot of great growth coming out of it. If you want to also check out the fertilizer I use, it's linked down below in my description box in my Amazon storefront if you want. Next plant we have. Okay, I'll save, I think I'll save my favorite one for last, but up next we have the philodendron Burl Marks Variegata. I kind of noticed her doing this well when I was filming the plant tour. I want her to focus. If you watch my plant tour, you can kind of see the moment I realized she was growing so well. These two leaves are from shipping. They are a bit damaged, not doing too hot. However, the plant isn't completely tossing them away, so I'm not gonna snip them off yet. Then this leaf, changed my life. It is so, so beautiful. I also have these two tiny leaves and I'm happy to see them so like variegated, happy. Those are good. I, I will, I think I want to see them kind of get a little bit bigger because this one's fairly decently sized and then I have the smaller ones. So I'll give them some time to see what's going on there and if they need any additional light or fertilizer or anything like that to reach their fullest potential. However, I am over the moon at the progress of this plant. I've grown new leaves under my care and she seems to be doing really well, despite again, the slightly compromised conditions. Okay, and the last plant I wanted to talk about is, this one is doing so good. It is my Philodendron Florida Ghost. Oh my god. I first got this plant like two years ago or something like that. It was one of the first videos I've ever done. It was an unboxing for green spaces, I think. I was so excited. She only, she was like a fairly small cutting and I was very, very nervous. It was one of the first splurges I kind of did. For some reason, this plant has the worst look and it has been knocked over, torn, whatever. And I love this plant and I was gonna stick it through, but it was a little bit discouraging to see it finally get some height to have variegation back because I lost the variegation for a little while. It's just incredible to watch. I actually propagated her back down here. I don't know if you can tell, but she did get propagated down there. From that point on has just been showing off, honestly. At this point, the biggest struggle I have with this plant is the variegation. I have been playing with light and fertilizer a bit to kind of get her a little bit more ghosty, I suppose. All in all, I absolutely adore this plant. The new growth comes in 
with this peachy color, this peachy pinkish color. Oh, this leaf is coming in really well. She's like the ghosty color. She's not just green. <laughs> right here is gonna be the next leaf in the middle. There, okay, this leaf wants to steal all the attention. Right here in the middle, that's gonna be the next leaf. I get so excited for new growth on this plant because of the color changes and I love seeing the leaf come in a lighter color with the peachy petiole and this like lime green color on the stem there. All of that just makes a very beautiful, evolving, ever-changing plant and it's so fun to watch grow, especially since I've struggled with her for a bit. We have a decently sized plant. I probably need to give her a moss pole. Right now she's slowly starting to vine down, which will give me smaller leaves. But yeah, those are my plants that are doing well. I feel like I did those fairly fast. I'm trying to see if I have anything else kind of exciting. I have a lot of new plants that haven't fully acclimated yet. So I think, I think that's all I'll share today. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Please let me know how your growing season or not growing season is going. I would love to hear. Again, a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you want to check them out, the first thousand people to click the link in my description box down below will get a one month free trial to Skillshare. Woo! I really appreciate you all watching. Please like this video, comment down below, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!